Hi friends, it's Suzanne here from sunstampin.com. I'm a Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I want to welcome you to my weekly Wild Card Wednesday video on my blog and YouTube channel. The card designs I share today are a little more technique driven, but nothing too complicated. I also sell the products I feature in this video. I hope you enjoy my free video tutorial and would love to see you shop with me. For today's class, I'm featuring the Royal Peacock Bundle. This includes the Royal Peacock Stamp Set and the Detail Peacock Dies. So Sarah Fleming and I are producing an amazing online class using this bundle, and we are both so excited about it. We launched the online class June 25th, so watch for it. But... I will share with you what I came up with today. So this is a piece of thick whisper white cardstock. This is what we used to sell, Stampin' Up! used to sell these um, multi-purpose adhesive sheets. However, you can find them, you can find something similar, a product similar to this. Actually, um, I think it's called Stick It and there's another one from... I don't even know that you find them online anyway it's a thin adhesive sheet really good for die cutting so I am going to cut two of the detail peacock dies uh, or die cuts with the stick it on it and one without so and this is thick whisper white so it's a very thick cardstock and basically the first one that I uh, stick everything to is the one that doesn't have adhesive on it. So the sandwich is the bottom one is just the plain one and then the two that layer on top have adhesive. So you're actually getting it becomes like a thick piece of chipboard. Now this is handy for a couple of reasons. It's going to stand up through the mail. It's not going to be wibbly wobbly, anything like that. It's going to be a nice solid focal piece. So I rub the back of that with my bone folder just to adhere all the bits together. This is a window sheet. I call it my smooshing sheet. It's like my mini size one. I have a bigger one. <laughs> um, so what I have here is my Stampin' Spritzer. That's some watercolor paper. I just braids a little bit of water on and that's a uh, granny apple green and I'm using my smooshing sheet to put the ink where I want it now this is a baby wipe to wipe up uh, all that color and then uh, this is the pretty peacock ink and then I spray it a little bit with my Stampin spritzer and then I'm going to combine these two. Now it was Sarah Fleming who told me about this color combination and I think she hit it on the head. So I'm drying this with my heat tool. Now I will make a, a comment here. You can go even further. Once this is dry, you can go back in with one color or the other. I was really happy with the mix that I got here, so I didn't have to, but if you wanted to, you could add a little bit more splotches, that sort of thing with your smooshing sheet. I was really happy the way it turned out. So this is frost white shimmer paint. You'll find that in our catalog. And this is just a Wink of Stella pen that has been refilled a couple of times. So it's just a paintbrush. I, for whatever reason, I couldn't find my aqua painter. So um, I have spritzed a little bit of water and then I spritzed sprinkled it on that lovely peacock concoction of color. So I've inked the greeting stamp up with a uh, granny apple green and then I daubed on some pretty peacock just on the edge there. So now I'm folding my card base. I have a lot of dimensionals on the back of my watercolor piece because I did not want it to bend or do anything weird. And then I did put some mini dimensionals on the back of my detailed peacock die cut here. So I'm adhering that right to the front of the card. So this is the die. And what I'm doing is just drawing a pencil line around the die on that little strip that has the sentiment. So now I'm very carefully cutting along the pencil markings. And what this is gonna do is gonna snug right up against my die cut. 
and just you wait and see it's like an amazing little technique there's so many techniques in this video right now oh my gosh it's a wild card wednesday people all right so here it goes do you see that so how perfectly it doesn't go under oh no it goes right next to and leaves a little gap so you can see the green through it i just love that all right so now these are um, an amazing new product and i forget what they're called peacock rhinestones and I just put the three colors that I was using. And that is my share for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Please hit that subscribe button. And let me know if you need any Stampin' Up! products. I'm here to help. Thanks so much and bye for now. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the Maple Leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.